What killed the young star? NBC4 Stephanie Stanton live in our newsroom with the latest on the investigation. Stephanie. Well, Chris, Brittany Murphy was only 32 years old. The entertainment world is stunned by the loss of this seemingly healthy young actress whose life was abruptly cut short. The media and paparazzi surrounded the Hollywood Hills home Brittany Murphy shared with her husband of nearly three years, British screenwriter Simon Monjack. Paramedics were called to the home around 8 o'clock Sunday morning. Someone dialed 911, reporting that the 32-year-old actress had stopped breathing. The coroner said Murphy had collapsed in the bathroom. Neighbors watched as paramedics performed CPR. They had her by the fire truck and they were obviously trying to put tubes down her throat, resuscitate her, and um, I think she was fairly obviously dead at that time. Murphy was rushed to Cedar sinai Medical Center and was pronounced dead at 10.04 a.m. An autopsy scheduled today will help shed light on what killed this vibrant young actress. The family had reported that uh, she had not been feeling uh, well the last few days and that she had flu-like symptoms and uh, felt sick. The coroner says the initial exam indicates that Murphy may have died of natural causes. We didn't find any uh, illicit or illegal drugs. Uh, we did recover some of her medication uh, that she had uh, that was prescribed uh, by a doctor. Murphy rose to fame in the 90s and is best known for her roles in the movies Clueless and 8 Mile. Her husband and mother issued a statement through a family friend. The sudden loss of our beloved Brittany is a terrible tragedy. She was our daughter, our wife, our love, and a shining star. Hollywood is also shocked and saddened by the news of her death. Ashton Kutcher, who once dated Murphy, said on his Twitter account, quote, Today the world lost a little piece of sunshine. My condolences go out to Brittany's family, her husband, and her amazing mother, Sharon. And authorities say there does not appear to be evidence of foul play. Toxicology reports could take weeks to complete. Funeral arrangements for the actress are pending. Live in the newsroom, I'm Stephanie Stanton. Chris, back to you.